Hey y'all, uh, here doing a little review of my Vorsen Les Paul style uh, solid body electric tenor ukulele. Uh, someone had posted on Reddit asking if these were, or asking what it was, they had someone giving it to them. Um, and I stated my opinion that they're not very good, but they do get the job done. Uh, and I stand by that opinion, they are not very good, but for whatever, like $120, I think they are. I don't know, I guess that's a pretty fair price for not very good, but, you know, gets the job done, electric ukulele. Uh, so the first part of the review is just going to be unplugged, and then the second half, um, we'll plug it in and see how that goes. Uh, Alright, but here, we've got the, let me take the tuner off, sorry. Got the Vorsen, or Clearwater as it's called, I think in Europe or some other uh, areas, I'm not sure, but solid body electric tenor ukulele uh, kind of like a Les Paul shape uh, obviously all right so we'll get right in there it's a little dirty because I haven't used it much and my place is very dusty all right so obviously shaped like a Les Paul it's a solid piece of wood uh, you know, it's fine. The tuning knobs feel fine. Uh, the switch is definitely cheap. It does not feel great. Um, the saddles right here are a little interesting. They went with, like, individual ones, which is great. But if you can tell, they're slightly too big. They don't fit flush. They kind of spread out too much, in my opinion. So... Uh, all right this right here where the electronics are that obviously looks pretty terrible um but whatever bolt on neck neck's pretty on there intonation on it is fine up the neck it gets a little wonky but not that bad i mean it's what you'd expect um tuners right here are like sealed asian guitar tuners they're fine they keep it in tune it's not terrible um strings i went with Elect just regular electric guitar strings. Um, and uh, I went with a slightly higher gauge. If you go with a lower gauge, the tuning gets a little wonky. The intonation gets a little wonky. Um, so use something a little bit thicker. Um, all right, let's go down to these pickups right here. So this is the big problem with these things is this is $120. And that's about how much a good pickup costs, right? So how did they fit two pickups on here? Well, the answer is they're terrible. They're pretty bad. It's supposed to be a Les Paul style design, but obviously it's two single coil pickups. Um, they're really hot. They're kind of shrill. They don't sound great, but like I said, it gets the job done. If you have enough talent and skill and you put enough studio magic on it, it'll sound fine. Um, I adjusted the intonation when I got it and the, the action to get it going. It didn't necessarily come super great set up. I think I bought it on Sweetwater, which is where I get most of my, uh, like, general gear, I guess. Non-ukulele or banjo-specific stuff. Um, I mean, I think it was on sale when I got it. That's why I bought it. Um, so, like I said, it's not great, but... One thing it is good for if you want to practice ukulele or something that's not going to wake everyone up, it's pretty cool. You can hear how loud it is. Not very loud at all, which is fine. That's not a knock against it. You know, it's a solid body. It does have a cutaway you can access up here. The neck feels fine. Um, it's designed fine. I really don't have a problem with it. I'd really like, I'd like to be a little chunkier, but that's just more of like a personal preference. Um, nothing about it is, like, terrible, but nothing about it rises above, like, mediocre, either. And, well, I guess this is pretty terrible. That, that, whoever did that, really bad job. But besides that, like I said, it's fine. We'll do, in the next video, we'll do a little, uh, sound test, um, to see what it sounds like plugged in, because obviously this is not the important part of a solid body electric ukulele. Um, 
yeah, the bottom line before we plug it in is it's worth the price, but still not great. If you want something that's going to sound good, you should probably save up and get like a Risa or something. Um, Flight has some cheaper options too, but I haven't necessarily been impressed with their quality control for a big company like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's it. And we'll, you'll be hearing it soon. So see ya.